This is the new battery system that uh, I have just installed, which is a graphene battery. This is system number two. We've installed one in a different apartment, which is the clinic that I have. This is a 5.5 kilowatt hour battery. It's a graphene super capacitor battery. It is a non lithium based battery. This is the battery. It looks like a big stereo. This battery right now is almost at 99%. It is not discharging. It is charging right now still. And it is hooked up to the grid entirely. This is the switch box, the smart switch box that it is hooked up to with the in and out for the inverter and the main electrical in and out, the three phase in and out and switch back from the inverter into the uh, into the house. So now we have the system hooked up to a day inverter, which is a five kilowatt hour day inverter. And this is now, as you can see, since the battery is almost a hundred percent. There is no charging going on because the battery is almost full um, and ready to discharge when the electricity goes out. This is the uh, settings, which we will, first of all, let's look at the battery itself. The SOC on the battery and the SOC on the day inverter are matching. They're 99%. The voltage is matching. Temperature reading is matching. So there's proper communication. And then here we can see all the details again. Um, and then if we just escape and go to the main settings, the battery setting, this is set at the lithium battery. And if we go down the page, those are the settings, it's entirely on grid. We are not selling back to the grid because the grid here means that we're getting both from the generator and from the government. The government is rarely on, so most of our time we are on generator. The purpose of the system is to save generator eventually and now being field tested here. So this is the lithium mode that the battery should works on. And we go back to the system and this is the, we are not exporting. So we're not exporting back to, um, to the load into the apartment from the battery. So we're not trying to do that at this point. Uh, next, we go to the timing of usage. And here we have the timing uh, almost continuous all to power the battery up to 100%. And then this will just go to the grid. The grid, this is the settings, the correct settings that sh should be on. And it should be on these settings and now we can go back and as we see the grid is charging very slowly because the battery is almost full at 99 percent and the system is working and all the communications including the wireless is on and everything is on And we've chosen to put the battery on uh, on this in this rack system 
in case future batteries will come in to be added on depending on the usage.